Like it guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Matthew Van Vitam, a time lapse photographer living in London, and this channel is all about time lapse travel and tutorials. Today's video is about how to make a time lapse video using iMovie. Now, iMovie is quite limiting, but you can make time lapse videos with it. So, let's get going. Alrighty, this is iMovie. It is very straightforward, very basic software, and we're going to do a basic edit to some time lapse photos to create a time lapse video. So, boom, create new, and you're going to want to make a movie, not a trailer. Click movie. First up, import media. We're going to import the photos. But, I said first up, I lied. Before that, you want to go check your preferences and make sure that photo duration is set to 0.1. I think usually it's set to 1. Screw that. Whoops. 0.1. Boom. Import your media now. Click that button. And navigate to, to wherever you have oops, the file that you are going to import. So I should have uh, prepped this better. Anyways, time lapse photos. These are all the photos that we're going to be working with. So you could import them one by one, or you just hit Command A and then import all. And then they are all in here, as you can see. Now, all that's left to do is click one of these photos and hit Command A again, and then drag them in here. Voila. Now, <laughs> I don't know why they are uh, pumping like that, but we are going to delete that pumping by going to this little crop icon here. And instead of Ken Burns, we're clicking crop to fill. Voila. Hit this little check mark here. And now they should all be sweet. Now, these are 0 0.1 seconds long, which means you have 10 frames per second, which is too slow. Video plays at 25 or 30 frames per second, depending on where you are. So because it's iMovie and we're limited, we're going to have to share this for now using the following settings. 1080p is the max. We'll talk about high resolutions later on. Best quality, because we want to keep as much quality as possible. And you can choose whatever here. I'm just going to go a bit faster for the sake of this tutorial. Let's call that time lapse one, save. And now it is exporting. A little bit of time passes and here is our clip. You can just drag that into iMovie and this is your video at 10 frames per second. As you can see, it's choppy, it's not smooth. So we got to speed that up. So what you can do now is go into your timeline, command A, backspace or delete and drag this one in there instead. Again, it plays back choppily, but go to this little uh, chrono icon, click on that, go to speed, custom and then depending on where you live 250 for most european countries and countries that use the pal frame rate or frequency i guess or 300 if you're in the us and a couple of other countries i'm in the uk we use 250 aka 25 frames per second aka 50 hertz out of the wall sockets here hit enter and then if you now look at the footage boom plays back smooth and that's all it is and then you can share this file use whatever settings you want here, hit next, and then it'll export very quickly, almost instantaneously, or at least on this computer, it exports this, boom, into your video file. I forgot to mention, before you export, you can also add some extra color to it, or change the temperature, or add some light effects. Uh, you can go too far on these quite quite easily like that is pretty drastic so don't overdo those just do those for subtle edits but yeah it is a little bit uh a little a little something you can add to it if you want to let's just go with a reset i'd probably just add a little bit of saturation and then export that let's do that real quick file next time lapse three export and done and now we've gone from a series of photos that looked choppily choppy choppily to this one, more saturation, smooth playback, very nice. As you can see, that was pretty straightforward, but there are some issues. Obviously, this whole exporting and then re-importing and then re-exporting actually drops down your quality quite a bit because every time your computer turns this file into another file into another file, you lose some quality. That's just the way computers work. Another thing is that you're limited to full HD resolution. Now, most digital cameras, even our phones, have many, many more pixels and thus you're limiting your resolution when your source files are way bigger. So now I'm going to show you a solution for that and it is really quite simple. So as you noticed in iMovie, we're limited to full HD, which is definitely not ideal. Now, luckily, most Macs have QuickTime Player as well. So 
open up QuickTime Player, go to File, and this has Open Image Sequence. Check this out. You're going to navigate to the folder with the photos, select all of these photos, choose Media, and then you get these options, which is way more advanced than iMovie. So resolution, this is where iMovie was limited, 4K, or you can go actual size. So you can have the full resolution out of camera, which is very exciting. Frame rates, look at these. 25, because I'm in the UK or Belgium or whatever. 30, if you're in the US. Double that, 50 or 60, whatever you want. I'm going to go with 25 again. And then even here, we have some advanced compression codecs, H.264, most people use that. HEVC, it's more modern. It is uh, not supported by some outlets. And this is what I used to edit with. So I'm going to go with a ProRes file, hit OK. Look at the speed of that. Boom, done. Now we have a full resolution video file straight away with the right frame rate and everything. Beautiful. Thank you, QuickTime. I hope that was useful. It's definitely not for everyone. Most of my viewers, I think, use more advanced software, but I know there's a lot of people out there that want to use free software. And I'm going to make more videos about free and cheap software, but I thought we could start here. That's my foot, I promise. <laughs> but I thought we could start here because so many people own iMovie as it comes with Apple computers. Now, if you want to learn how to time-lapse like a pro, like myself, you can check out the eBooks that I wrote about time-lapse photography, how to plan, shoot, and edit the highest possible quality footage. You can check out the link down below and you can even find a discount down there. Thanks for watching, and if you have any suggestions or questions or whatever, please drop them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. Mate, honestly, this is ridiculous. I need to do something with my hair. What? What is all this? Maybe if I go like that, it'll look better. Hmm, maybe not at all. Testing.